Welcome to the Creating a Seating Chart demo. In this demo, you will learn how to create and save a customized seating chart for your course. By the end of this demo, you will have a seating chart ready to use in your course. First, log in to your D2L Brightspace account and go into your course. On the Course Tools drop down menu or the Edit Course link, choose the Seating Chart link. If this is your first time working with locations in this course, you will need to add location options for this course by clicking on the Manage Locations button. Some locations are already created for you to use. Use the All tab to see all of the preloaded locations. If you need to have a location added, contact the Educational Technology Office at D2L Help at MidlandsTech.edu. Place a check mark to the left of the classrooms you will use for this course. And then click the Set Active button at the top. Notice the active ones have check marks next to them on the right. The non active ones have a circle with a dash through them. When you're finished, click the Manage Seating Charts button. Now that we have locations set up for this course, you can see and click on the Create a Chart button. For the chart name field, type in the course prefix, number, and section for the course section that this chart is used for. Example, CPT 101A01. In the Locations drop-down menu, choose the classroom you will be meeting in. In the Attendees drop-down menu, pick the course section that this seating chart is for, and click the Save button. Next, we have to put the students in the seats we want them to sit in. You can do this manually or let D2L do it randomly. To assign students manually, left click on the student, hold the click, and drag the student to the seat you want them in. To let D2L do it randomly, click the Assign All button, and choose Randomize. Now that the students are on the chart, you can then drag and drop a student if you need to move some around, or you can use the More Actions drop down menu to randomize them again or to remove them all. When you are finished, click on the Return to Events button. To return to the seating chart tool, click on the seating chart breadcrumb. Note, if you have more than one section in your course shell, you will need to create a seating chart for each section, since they meet at different times and possibly different locations. Repeat the steps above to create all of your seating charts. Next, we have to create events on the calendar to use the seating chart. Enter into the calendar tool, and click on the Create Event button. In the Title field, enter in the course prefix, number, and section. Example, CPT 101A01. In the Description field, enter in a description of the meeting times. Don't use specific information for a class period, or it will be shown on all of the dates when you set up the reoccurrence. I'll enter CPT 101A01 Tuesday Thursday 8 a.m. through 10 a.m. In the attendees drop down menu, pick the correct section this event is for. Under when, enter the first date and time the event starts and ends. Note, 
be careful to enter this information only for the date of the first class. To make this show up for all the dates your class meets, click on Add Reoccurrence and set up the parameters. Pick Weekly from the drop down menu and check the days your class meets. For Reoccurrence Ending, pick the last day the course meets. The locations you chose earlier can now be chosen from the Locations drop down menu. Pick the location you want to use. Make sure the checkbox for Use Seating Chart is checked and select the correct chart from the drop down menu for the section this calendar event is for. Click the Create button when you are finished to save the event. Repeat the steps above to create the recurring events for all of the other seating charts you want to use in this course shell. You have now successfully created a seating chart. View the Using a Seating Chart demo to learn how to use the charts created in this demo.